Hey, in this lesson we're going to learn Dublin Blues by Guy Clark. Let's get going. Hey, it's Aidan here, AidanCoin.com, where I teach you how to play in Dadgad guitar. If this is your first time here and you want to learn about Irish backing Dadgad songs and other guitar techniques, do click on the subscribe button now and the bell so you can get notified and you don't miss out on anything. To start this song off, we play a hammer-on, which sounds like this. So you're hammering on with your first finger onto the second fret of this A string. So that second fret down from the capo, wherever you are. So we're going open, hammering on to the second fret, and then we're playing our open D. And then we're playing this. D shape. And I'm going to refer to everything with the shapes of the, the chords we're playing rather than where I am. This would be an F sharp because I have the capo on the second or fourth fret. But I'm going to keep things easy. It's a D shape or D modal. So. so the hammer on, open D, and then this D chord. So the counting of this is in 4-4 four, four times, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, down, up, 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 down, up. And to get this, this hammer on in time, we start with an and four and. So it goes and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four and one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two. So that's just how you get that. You go, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Cool. So we'll bring up the cards now and we'll get through the rest of the song. And towards the end of this video, I'll show you some nice bonus licks and tricks just to add into the song, which kind of spice things up. So hang on for that. So these are the chords. We'll go through the first line now of the song. So it goes, I wish I was in Austin. Oh. So that's D, G, and D. D. So we've covered the D already. This is the G shape here. So remember, it's the shapes we're talking about here. So from where, wherever you are, you're going one, two, three, four, onto fifth fret with your third finger there to get this G shape. So we're going to D to the G, back to this D. Now you can play this D with one finger or with two, with your fourth finger up here. And this is how I usually play it. Just has that bit of a stronger push. So I use a lot of muting with this song, so how I play it again. into the first first line here so D G and D D so that's how I play it but you can play it with one finger keep things nice and simple and lots of muting that's just with the palm of your hand against the just against the, the strings down here at the bottom near the bridge so just gives a bit of a punchy feel if you're enjoying the lesson so far do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more so then the second line here sounds like this. In a chili parlor bar, making my dog margaritas. So that's a D, then to this A. So that's a two finger A. So we have the first finger on the second fret of that middle D. Second finger on the second fret of that G string. In a chili parlor bar, Making my dark margaritas. Back to this D, whichever way you want to do it, with the two-finger D, or just the one-finger D. So, in a chili pot of bar, making my dark margaritas. So we'll do it from the top then, from line one. So, I wish I was in G and D, D. In a chili pot of A, Making my dark margaritas. And then to finish off, we're back to this G. And then D twice. So from the very top, that whole verse, it goes, I wish I was in Austin. Oh. In a chili parlor bar. 
making my dark margaritas and not caring where you are. So I'll call it out as we go along. A D and G and D. 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 Great, so here are the chords to the chorus, and it sounds like this. Forgive me all my anger, forgive me all my faults. There's no need to forgive me for thinking what I thought. I loved you from the get-go, and I love you till I die. I loved you on the Spanish steps the day you said goodbye. So instead of the A chord that we've covered already, the two finger A down here, we are now just playing the A higher up to get different tones going for the chorus. So forgive me on my anger. So it's the same, same shape as that we've covered with the G, except you're sliding up an extra two frets. So that of course is with the capo on the fourth fret. So now our third finger is on the eleventh. But um, it's just an A shape. So we have A. A and D. D. And we can play the D with the one finger or with the little finger added in to get just a bit of a deeper tone. So A, A, and D. D. And A, A, and D. D. Again, A, A, and D. D. And this is where we change. We go to the G. G, G, and D. That's how I play it anyway. And for that G, I like to do a lot of muting. I want you on the Spanish steps today, say goodbye. So that's just a lot of muting down here, pushing your hand against the strings to get that. Bit of a, a punchy tone. So let's go through the chorus again from the top. So we have... Forgive me all my anger Down to the D And up to the A Do forgive me For thinking what I thought I loved you from the get-go And I love you till I die I loved you on the Spanish steps The day you said goodbye So now we've covered the chords for the verse and the chorus, so you can play the full song straight through with them alone. I also said I'd show you some extra bonuses with the hammer-ons and pull-offs, so I'll show you a few of those little tricks now. So we covered one already, which was this, just to start off the song. So you can double that up if you want. So that's hammer-on, hammer-on. So that's one, you could do some slides. You can do some slides with your first finger up to the fourth fret, then down to the second again, second to the fourth, back down again. That's on the G string and the D string. So, that works perfectly fine. There's um, one little lick that I, I like to throw in. So, it sounds like this. What I'm doing there is you have your third finger on the fourth fret and your then first finger on the second fret, so and then we have a pull off from the fourth to the second, and then a pull off from the second to the open D. So it's two pull offs in a row. And then I have another pull off from the second fret to the open A, and then final pull off from the second fret of the low D to the open D. So, all together.
But the main thing you want to take away is that I'm just working off this inside skeleton scale and the outside skeleton scale. So I have videos for them in the description below so you can check them out. And it's just a fun way of kind of adding in riffs and making your own stuff up, and which is always the best way to go about things, I think. So um, there are some riffs you could add in just to the rhythm of this song. So I hope you got something out of that. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. And if you have any comments, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you. Happy to help out. And do check out this Socks in the Frying Pan playing Dublin Blues in the key of F sharp so you can play along to that. I'll talk to you on the next one. All the best.